F-35 Lightning fly over northern Syria on a crucial mission, slicing through the night. The landscape below, lit by distant fires and scattered lights, is rugged and remote. These stealth fighters are targeting a key ISIS stronghold believed to house senior operatives. Approaching the target, the F-35s evade radar-guided SAMs with their advanced stealth technology. Their design and radar-absorbent materials keep them hidden as they open their payload bays to release precision-guided munitions. The bombs, equipped with state-of-the-art guidance, aim for the target while minimizing civilian impact. After releasing their payload, the F-35 swiftly maneuver away, relying on their stealth to avoid detection and return safely. The F-35 has been a, a, a dream to fly, it's wonderful. I've never flown an aeroplane like this, where you can control the motion of the aeroplane so precisely. I'm not sure we've even scratched the surface yet of what this airplane, when it's operating with other F-35, is going to be able to do. I have never experienced such precision. And you know, pilots love precision. So it's like getting in a Formula One racing car, the, the drive of your life, and it, it goes fast, and it goes high, and it goes slow, and it goes low. It does everything you want to do, and it does it supremely well. The F-35, a product of Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works, overcame early skepticism and technical challenges. Its development marked a significant achievement in creating a versatile, multi-role fighter. The F-35's role in modern warfare showcases its precision, strategic advantage, and redefined air power. Today, we are delving into one of the most advanced pieces of military technology ever created, the F-35 fighter jet. A marvel of modern engineering, this aircraft has been the subject of both awe and controversy. But what makes the F-35 so special? Let's find out. The F-35 Lightning II is a family of single-seat, single-engine, all-weather stealth multi-role fighters. There are three main variants of the this jet, the F-35A, designed for conventional takeoff and landing, the F-35B, capable of short takeoff and vertical landing, and the F-35C, designed for aircraft carrier operations. Each variant meets a specific need, but all models of the F-35 provide the pilot with stealth and an advanced platform to gather information and disperse information across the battle space. One of the most advanced fighter jets in the world, the F-35 is a marvel of modern engineering. But what truly sets it apart is its ability to evade radar detection, and the stealth design of this fighter jet and uncovering the secrets behind its near invisibility to enemy radar. Stealth technology isn't new. Since the dawn of radar during World War II, engineers have been racing to develop aircraft that can avoid detection. But achieving this requires more than just clever engineering, it demands a comprehensive understanding of radar waves and how they interact with different materials and shapes. Building on the theoretical groundwork laid by the German physicist Arnold Sommerfeld, this paper revealed the first major leap in understanding radar wave behavior. The key takeaway from this research? It's not the size of an object that dictates how strong the radar signals return, but rather the specific shape and configuration of its edges. This insight revolutionizes our understanding of radar wave interactions by showing that the way an object's surface is shaped has a far more significant impact on radar detection than its overall size. The first line of defense in the F-35 stealth arsenal is its shape. The jet's design incorporates faceted surfaces and sharp edges, which help to deflect radar waves away from the source. This reduces the aircraft's radar cross-section, making it appear smaller and less detectable. The F-35's angular nose and canted vertical stabilizers are particularly important. These features are designed to scatter radar waves in multiple directions, minimizing the chance of a return signal that could be picked up by enemy radar. Another key feature of the F-35's design is its internal weapon bays. Unlike traditional fighter jets that carry weapons on external pylons, the F-35's weapons are housed internally. This eliminates external reflections and keeps the jet's radar cross-section to a minimum. By carrying its arsenal internally, the F-35 maintains its stealth profile even when fully armed. 
This capability allows it to approach targets undetected, giving it a significant tactical advantage. So what is stealth? Stealth describes techniques that are used to make an aircraft less visible on radar. One of those techniques involves the use of radar absorbent material or RAM. Radar absorbent material or the outside coating of the aircraft can be used to decrease or absorb radar energy so that the overall effect is that the aircraft's signature is decreased. Another technique is by the use of the structure of the aircraft. The design of the wings, the fuselage, the tails, everything is combined together with very specific shapes and geometries so that radar reflections can be controlled to the max extent possible. Among its numerous groundbreaking features, one stands out as a true game changer, the Helmet Mounted Display System, or HMDS. The F-35's HMDS is not just a helmet, it's a complete situational awareness suite. Imagine a helmet that integrates seamlessly with the aircraft, providing the pilot with real-time data, targeting information, and a 360-degree view of the battlefield. This isn't science fiction, this is the reality for F-35 pilots. At the core of this technology is the helmet's visor, which acts as a transparent display screen. This visor projects vital flight information directly into the pilot's line of sight. Speed, altitude, heading, and even the location of enemy targets, all displayed in a way that allows the pilot to keep their eyes on the mission. The helmet's advanced sensors and cameras provide a view that extends beyond the aircraft itself. The Distributed Aperture System, or DAS, captures real-time video from six infrared cameras mounted around the aircraft. This video feed is stitched together and projected onto the pilot's visor, allowing them to see through the aircraft. No more blind spots, no more limitations of cockpit visibility. Targeting is another area where the HMDS excels. The helmet allows pilots to lock onto targets simply by looking at them. The helmet's display tracks the pilot's line of sight, enabling weapon systems to be directed with pinpoint accuracy. This capability is crucial in dogfights, where split-second decisions can mean the difference between life and death. So how does a pilot make use of all that information provided by the F-35? One way is through the use of the Helmet Mounted Display System, or HMDS. Now each helmet is individually fit to the pilot to make sure that all the information that is displayed on the visor remains visible while flying the aircraft. And it's this fused information translated from the two-dimensional world of fusion into the real world. It's an augmented reality that puts all the basic flight information, the fused data information, and the targeting information right wherever the pilot happens to look. Powering this cutting-edge technology is the Pratt & Whitney F-135 engine, the most powerful fighter engine ever developed. This engine delivers over 40,000 pounds of thrust, enabling the F-35 to reach speeds of up to Mach 1.6 and perform extreme maneuvers in combat situations. The F-35 with its single engine has 30% more thrust than I had with the two engines in my CF-18 which was designed more than 30 years ago. We know there's an evolution in engine technology because Air Canada no longer flies four engine airplanes across the oceans. They use two engine airplanes. That same evolution of technology applies in the fighter engine world. We have great confidence with 500,000 flying hours on the sister engine to our F-135 that this engine technology is robust and it works. However, the development of the F-35 has not been without its challenges. The program has faced numerous delays and cost overruns, with the total cost estimated to exceed $1.5 trillion over its lifetime. Critics argue that the project has been mismanaged and that the aircraft is too expensive for the benefits it provides. The F-35 was born of an exceptionally dumb kind of piece of Air Force PR spin. The, the mission of the airplane was to be half of what the Air Force called the high-low mix. It was supposed to be one super expensive, supposedly super capable fighter, the F-22, and then a cheaper fighter of which you were supposed to be able to buy a lot that would do everything else that was beyond air-to-air, -air, and that was the F-35. That whole high-low mix idea was an Air Force PR concoction to make up an excuse, this was actually from the 70s, can you believe this? It shows you how long dumb ideas persist. Despite these challenges, the F-35 is gradually being integrated into the armed forces of the United States and its allies. Its versatility, combining the roles of air superiority, ground attack, and intelligence, makes it a cornerstone of modern military strategy.
In conclusion, the F-35 fighter jet represents a significant leap forward in military aviation technology. Its advanced stealth, avionics, and propulsion systems make it a formidable tool in modern warfare. While it has faced significant hurdles, the potential of the F-35 to redefine aerial combat cannot be ignored. Thank you for joining us today as we explored the incredible technology behind the F-35 fighter jet. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more content on cutting-edge technology and engineering marvels.